Hi guys, Melvin here from Neuron Digital. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to customize the estate app template using Android Studio. First, I'm going to be walking you through how to perform a basic customization so that you can be up and running in a few minutes. Then I will be showing you how to further customize the app by, for example, adding your own adverts, changing the app icon, translate to different languages and other useful things that you might need. Before starting the customization, make sure you have all these here installed in Android Studio and also make sure that you place the project as close to C as possible if you're using Windows because else you will get an error which is similar to this in Android Studio. So let's get started with the customization, open the file. Make sure you have a state here with the Android Studio icon selected, click OK. OK, so the project has been imported, as you can see from here. The first thing we need to do is to import the JSON file that we have downloaded from Firebase. If you haven't done this, watch the server side tutorial and it will walk you through how to get this JSON file. I'm going to select project files from here and I'm going to open up and we need to replace this JSON file from here with the JSON file you get from Firebase. So I have the JSON file here. I'm going to copy it and paste it in here. To ask it to overwrite. Okay, so that's replaced. Now let's go ahead and change it back to Android once again. And the second thing we're going to do is to rename the package ID. So we're going to make sure we have compact empty middle packages unhighlighted, like so. And we're going to open Java, open Neuron Digital. And we're going to right click on your own digital and click on refactor and on rename. Rename package. And I'm going to rename my package to company. You're going to put in your company name here or your domain name and click refactor. Okay, I'm going to click to refactor. Make sure that the that the refactor refactored both this and this. And when that's done, you can do the same for a state. So right click again, refactor, rename, and put in your app name here. I'm going to leave it as a state for now. Cancel. Open Gradle scripts and open the module app. And I'm going to rename this package name here and make it the same as I made it here. So I'm going to make com.company.estate and just press sync. Okay, so now I'm going to open up the server again and I'm going to copy this link because we need it for the configuration of the app. I'm going to open Java company and I'm going to open configurations and we need to replace this URL here the server URL with the with your server URL so paste it there and make sure you have this here and when that's done you can just press play and you can test the app on the emulator As you can see, the app loaded successfully and it, it's displaying the same property that we added to the admin page in the first tutorial. So we can close that once again. Now we can go back to configurations.java and see what else we can change from here. So we have already changed the server URL from here. These 
three variables here are some general settings that you can change. We have the property prices for the filter. We have the filter rooms here as well. You can add more items to both of these lists. From here, you can change if you wish to have a list or a grid. So if you wish to have a list, just replace this number one here with a number two, like so. And if you run the app, you will have a grid. If you wish to have in a purchases in the app so that the user can pay to remove ads, you need to get the public key from your Google Play and put it in here. And the app will automatically enable in a purchases. And also if you wish to do so, make sure to add in the premium code that you add for the premium item in Google Play. If you wish to test, you can uncomment this and comment this line to make a text test purchase. You don't have to change this. And if you also wish to add test devices, these are devices that ads don't display on for testing. You can put their unique IDs in here. Okay, so that's all from configurations.java. Let's close it. And we can open now resources, values, and strings.xml. This file here contains all the text, so it's easier to translate. Here you have the app title, so you need to change it to your app name. You have your currency and you have all the navigation titles, for example, here. And well, you have all the text which you can translate easily. Currently, the app doesn't have any ads in it because these fields are both empty. If you wish to add your own ads, get a net unit ID from AdMob and you can place them here and the ads will display automatically. If you wish to change how much the ads show, you can play with this number here to optimize it as you like. Here, you need to put the same Google Map API key that we used for the server to enable the Google Maps in the app. Without it, the app will not work, so make sure to put your API key in here. If you wish to enable analytics, go to Google Analytics and get a publisher ID and put it in here, and analytics will automatically show on your Google Analytics page. This final string here is the deep link URL. Make sure to make it in this format with the subdomain first, the domain, and the .com or .net or whatever after. This URL here plays two major features. So first of all, when you press share in the app, so we can try it from here. When you press this share, it will be shared along with the property ID after it. And the second feature is that the app will always listen to it. So when you click on such a URL on your phone, the estate app will automatically open. So when you share that URL and someone else opens it, it will open the app for him and direct him to the property that you shared. So we're done from this file. Let's go ahead and try to change the icon. Open MIP map here. And to change the icon, just right click here, click on new, image asset, rename this as icon, select image, and you can import an image from here. And when you're done, press next, and you will replace these icons here with your icon. The app has these four major images here. So if you wish to change them, just copy and paste your own images with the same names here in the drawable folder. If you wish to change the app colors, you can do so from resources, values, colors to the XML. So here we have the major colors which you can change by replacing these codes here. When everything is done, just go to build here, click on generate signed APK, and you can follow this wizard to export the app to an APK file, which you can then upload to Google Play.